Hi guys, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming. I'm back. It's Sunday, and I am going to work on uh, finishing up the ship here. It's pretty close to being done anyway. All we're going to do is we're going to add an ore detector and maybe a couple headlights and uh, just a couple more blocks, just light armor blocks, so that uh, we can shield it and protect it properly. So, it, with that in mind, we're going to need, uh, that ore detector is going to need uh, a very specific part. So, fortunately, it is going to need, it's going to need uh, an or, uh, det detector component, I believe. And in build, to build, oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I am completely, oh no. Uh, let's, let's take a look at it here. Or detector requires yes one detector component and a few other odd things that I think we have so uh, the detector component fortunately we did uh, if you remember we did a little bit of platinum mining so we do need a little bit of platinum perfect and uh, that should be ready in no time actually that's perfect so we'll put that on oh, we just need one of those uh, that'll be ready in a minute and we're also going to build a couple headlights spotlights interior plates construction components and steel plates no problem no problem whatsoever let's see what we have in our cargo container construction steel plates and what was the other one i know we need some computers Interior plate. Oh, I didn't think it was an interior plate. That's weird. Okay. So I'll grab these interior plates as well. Put them on the wrong... I put them back in instead of taking them out. Whoops. Okay. No, we don't need these thruster components. Well, so I think we're good to go. Yeah, we're going to finish her up, and then we're going to go uh, go be a dentist and kind of clear out the cavity a little bit. <laughs> uh, so that we can fill it properly. We have a long way to go, but it's going to be a fun journey. I, I'm already enjoying myself. I hope you guys are too. Now, I don't think we can put that there, so we're just going to... We're going to adjust that piece, I think. Right. Okay, and the headlight. I see. I thought we would be able to put a headlight right on there, but apparently not. Okay, so we can, we can do something on the side. It'll be okay. It's going to be vulnerable on the side like that. Actually, even better. Yeah. Okay. I want to keep that uh, reactor. Available. So let's. I might just move the reactor so that it's pointed downward. I placed it upside down anyway. Here, let's take a close look at that. Yeah. See, it's uh, it's upside down anyway. So you know, I think we'll just uh, we'll shift it. We've got all the parts. It's gonna be super fast to move. Now that we've got a basic schematic built here, it's super easy to modify. Yes, I know, I'm building, I'm still working on a stupid little ship. <laughs> and I'm, you know, those of you that are actually playing the game, um, you are well aware, like I am, that nothing's really ever done you know you're always kind of working on something right so whoop oh jesus uh whoops yeah especially when you know you're you're uh kind of a screwball like me and me like to just hit buttons for no reason whatsoever <laughs> super fun okay so yeah we're gonna put the reactor back on really quick here 
So while that reactor is not active, while this thing has no power, and it's not actually attached to the asteroid, if I bumped it at all, there would be absolutely nothing to stop it from floating away. So that's why I'm working on getting that built as quickly built again as quickly as possible and get that uh, power back in there. Yeah, <laughs> perfect. So as long as those thrusters are on and the power's on, um, the inertial damp dampeners will keep it from floating away. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, that'll work. There, now, you know, if a light breaks off, light breaks off. They're actually pretty cheap to repair. And our gyroscope is more or less protected. And our reactor is a little bit better protected. The same thing on the side. I'm not totally happy with that. So what other uh, we could light armor corner? Yeah, we could try. <laughs> um, no, that wouldn't work. So. And by the time we get the steel, the steel plates done, our platinum ingots should be done. We'll go grab that last piece for our ore detector. You know, I fully expect that after doing this series for a while, you know, even Nugget will see many, many improvements. And also, every Thursday, there is an update with uh, Space Engineers. And they're always adding and removing, or not removing stuff, they're always adding stuff. So who knows? Who knows? Okay, let's see. Oh, yep, they finished building that. Down here. Alright, let's go finish off that order detector and we're off. Oh, it looks pretty snazzy. Yeah, it looks pretty snazzy. Looks good. Haha. <laughs> And yes, it does use a little bit more power with those spotlights on there, but quite honestly, this little tiny ship, for its size, is going to utilize, utilize uh, use a lot of power because of because it's got an, an ore miner on it. But really, that the three uranium I put in there should last quite some time. We are going to do some uranium mining first, just so that we have some backup uranium, and it's constantly refining it. So let's go do that. We are ready to go and try her out. See how stable she is. Woohoo! Yeehaw! Right on. <laughs> oh yeah, she's she's quite maneuverable actually. Could use well, I don't know, we'll see. She's pretty light, so my concern is that maybe she's gonna bounce around a little bit while I'm mining. So we'll find out. Find out soon enough. Oh, yeah. It's not bad though. It's not bad. Okay, we're looking for. There was a big patch of uranium. There was that little patch I was working on. It's around here somewhere. <laughs> and Rob's lost again. You know, it could have benefited from two more thrusters in the back, but that's okay. Don't need them. Maybe that wasn't a big patch of uranium in the... I, I thought it was. I'm sure it was. <laughs> really? Okay, I should be watching my little indicator on the bottom. Oh! Uranium. 43, 42, there. Okay, follow it. Uranium. Maybe that's on the inside of the asteroid. Ah. Well, we'll go that direction anyway. Well, 
son of a... Ah, okay. Well, there is a little patch of something. Oh no. That's not uranium. Ah. Uh, okay. I will skip ahead until I actually find some uranium. Okay, we're gonna start digging here. There is uranium down there. I, honestly, I'm kind of tired of looking on the asteroid. It's just, I know there's uranium on the outside, but I can't seem to find it. So we have to put our tools, which is our miner, on our toolbar, and away we go. So as we're digging here, we're gathering stone. We're not going to use that stone, we're just going to eject it once, uh... It's... It's a little unstable. I'm not going to lie. It's a little unstable. <laughs> huh. I wonder if... It's just... It's just not heavy enough, maybe? It's... It's pretty light. And, uh, the movement... Oh, power issue. There is a power issue. So if you look on the right side, you can see when it hits the red, that means it's using more power than it can handle on that one little reactor to keep it stable. So that's one of the issues with this. Um, I think it's got enough thrusters for its size. Maybe another gyroscope. I don't know. You know what? This is just our small miner anyway. Eventually we're going to we're going to we're definitely going to be upgrading or building a new ship that has uh, at least 3 or more miners on it. Like something that will chew up rock fast. This one is just to get us by. So I'm going to skip or uh, fast forward until uh, until we actually get to uh, mining the actual uranium and then we'll probably skip forward again and we'll just keep doing it like this for a while guys if you want to actually sit and watch me mine great but i'm sure most of you uh are more than happy just to have me skip ahead okay Truck uranium! <laughs> uh, yeah, this miner, it definitely needs more miners on it, but for, you know, this little tiny precise mining, it might work okay. But we did find some uranium, so we're just digging out some of that right now. And just to give you an idea how quickly this thing mines, so we're up to 1.58k of uranium. We just started with uranium, but we're already up to 18k in stone. That's huge! Like, it, it actually, I mean, these things actually mine so fast compared to hand mining that you're better off spending, you know, just dropping. I, I mean, hand mining has its place, I think. Like, like I said, like, like at the beginning of this uh, series, sure, or yesterday. You know, when you're just doing some precise stuff, you just need to get a couple parts to build your first miner. Other, other than that, you know, hand mining, maybe to clear out a little bit of space for something while you're building it, I don't know. But for the most part, you want to stick to your mechanical mining, because this is where it's at. Okay, fast forwarding again, guys. Okay, I think we're good for now. Eh, 3.48k of uranium, that's enough. To, I'll just throw that in. You know, it's, it's not a huge amount. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's that uranium hole I started at the beginning. Aw. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's head back. Ooh, 
Come on. There we go. It's it's not a perfect ship by any means. I've had miners with uh, I think there was that my last one had like five miners on it, and it was so stable. It was crazy stable. That kind of looked kind of sexy too. This one this one doesn't look sexy. I'd say hard to say what a ship actually looks sexy, but okay. So now we've got some minerals and we want to put that into our refinery how are we going to do that well we're going to simplify by making it more complicated because <laughs> that's what we do uh, uh, we could hand load it all right let's 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 hand load this lot um, we could build uh, a connector and a, uh, what do they call it? Uh, they call it, uh, oh, a, co a collector and a connector. I could put a connector on my ship and a collector on the other ship here and have, and then just sit over top of the other ship and drop my ore right into it. It's super fast, but we really don't, we don't have a lot here. We just did a little tiny bit there. So I'll just, I'll hand load it over. One more load. But as you can see, if you're doing any more than just a little tiny bit of ore this way, it is extremely painful. We did not fill up our hold, by the way. Like, we, we didn't even touch our... Uh, we still had 40,000 liters in our drill. And I think we used, what, half? Not even half, if you consider that uh, we're not going to be using that stone. That stone is just a waste. We're actually just going to drop into space. Well, I, always put, I always try to put the iron first because it refines so quickly. Uranium takes a while. This way, as we're mining, we're not going to run out of fuel. Not that I think we would have anyway. I think we've got enough to last a long time. All right, so let's... Try and get rid of this stone. This is called Space Litter! <laughs> oh boy. A lot of Space Litter. So I have to put it in my inventory and then drop it. We're almost done. Uh, we are definitely going to start building the connector and the collector because uh, we're going to be getting into that asteroid now and we're going to be doing some more serious mining, excavating, technically. And, uh, uh, well, you know, let's just get at it. Let's just check the status of our ship. It looks pretty good. Just make sure nothing got damaged. It looks like it, it held up perfect. Yeah. Oh. The cargo container got beat up a little bit. Well, that's interesting. You know, maybe, maybe we should uh, add a little bit more shielding to that container because we do not want that container to fall off. Just for now, we're going to put a collector, or a, yeah, col uh, the connector. We might put a connector there, or we might put a connector up top. I'm not sure. Probably here. In the meantime, let's just uh, put a little bit of protection. It doesn't take very long. We do not... So what will end up happening is it'll fill up with ore, and then it'll break and blow up. And when it does that, it's just going to create this massive rock. It's going to be really challenging to move. So, I'm going to try and avoid that. Eh, 
Oh, that's cute. Kind of gives it like that spiny look up top. I could have done a little bit better on the bottom here. Oh well. Uh, and cannot forget, add a little bit of color. Just a little bit. There. There. Always add a little bit of color to your creations. Really makes a difference. Really makes a difference. Just, uh, I don't know, it just makes the game better. Okay, we're ready to start mining. We have, if you look on the right spot, right bottom hand side, we have 29 days without operating our drill. While operating our drill, I think it's, uh, it's like a day of fuel. Okay, here we are. Now we have to be a little bit careful in here, or a lot careful in here. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and put our landing gear. Uh, we could put it there. I think that's where we're going to put it. That makes sense. Yeah, we're going to put it there. So the foot is going to be on that pillar, which means we're going to be building outward this way. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. So let's just start clearing away. So this is all ore, or iron. Um, this iron will come in extremely handy when we start building uh, steel plates, which will be immediately, if we can get a lot of ore here, steel plates and interior plates and construction components are, uh, especially interior plates and construction components, those two we are going to need a lot of. Construction components are used uh, uh, heavily in um, building conveyors and tubing. And they take a long time to build compared to even steel plates. And you need a lot of them. Like one of these conveyor tubes for a large ship, uh, I think, uh, or the conveyor itself, you need 40 construction components. Like a lot. It's crazy. And they take, I don't know, it's like 10 seconds to build or something each. So that's a lot of time. So you want to have a refinery and an assembler working on these things at all times. And uh, so we are mining for the ore as well as clearing out space. And we're going to do this in pieces. We just want to be sure that we are always have enough room for our miner to get in here and do the work Do the work around the, uh, the ship that we're building. We don't want to be smashing into things. So we want to have, you know, a decent amount of space. And, uh, you know, if any if anybody's watching, I don't know if anybody's really watching. I've got, a, you know, i got a few of you guys watching. i got a couple views, but nothing serious. And if you guys choose to, I would love to hear some comments on um, what you'd like to do, me to do with this miner. Do you want me to upgrade this miner later and make it bigger? Or do you want me to build a whole new miner? And do you want to actually watch me do it? If you don't, um, you know, I can always fast forward through it. Uh, like I'm doing with some of this mining, or uh, we can actually build it. Uh, I mean, build, this game is about building, it's about designing, and I kind of do it on the fly and it's super fun, um, but if, if it's not interesting to anybody, you know what? I don't mind fast forwarding a little bit, that's okay. You know, sometimes people just want to see the finished product, and I'm okay with that. So let me know, uh, leave a comment, I'd love to uh, hear what you think. I would like to hear the I would love to hear what anybody thinks at this point in time. <laughs> New channel, you know, I just want some feedback. You know, am I totally off my rocker? Should I, you know, just stop doing this? I'm sure there's going to be somebody that says, just stop doing it. And that's okay. You know, I'm not going to stop doing it because I like it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fast forward as I uh, mine the crap out of this little asteroid. Okay, see you soon.
Right, here we are. Uh, I've done a fair amount of mining out of here. Um, we should have enough now to put in at least the landing gear and get some blocks and maybe put a, a refinery or something on the block. Now, I do have a couple concerns. <laughs> and if you look around, you'll probably see what I mean. Um, the place is filled with rubble now. There's tons of rubble. And with Spain's engineers, you can't build as long as that all these things are just lying around. I mean, they'll, they'll get in the way, right? So there's ways around it. We can pick them up all by hand. Or, you know, like I was saying uh, about the gravity generator, I could build a gravity generator and everything will just fall and be out of the way. And I still may have to hand pick them up, but... Uh, Oh, uh, first day driving? Yeah, okay. Awesome. Okay, so we actually mined quite a bit there. So, our next order of business is to build a bit of a... Oh, there is a collector on here. How convenient is that? So we just need a connector on our ship. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Okay. So we're just going to build, let's see here, it's the easiest way to do this. I think what we're going to do is we're going to remove this corner piece. Oops, a little far, got a little excited. And we're going to add a conveyor, a small conveyor, and it's basically uh, just a multi-sided part. So we want to connect to this tube, we want to connect to the con uh, cargo container, and we want it to go back and connect to a connector as well. Uh, should we put, add some more tubing there? My concern... You know what? It doesn't hurt. Let's add some more tubing. And then do the connector there. No. Oh. Can I ejector, sorry. Ejector, this small one. Yeah. <laughs> connector is just a little too big. Okay, perfect. This way, we should be able to just sit over top of the ship and dump our ore. How amazing is that? So much easier than... Well, in the olden days, that's how, you know, we played Space, en space Engineers, is we hand-loaded all of that stuff from one place to another, and it was, it was a pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie to you. It was a huge pain in the ass. I need another display. I think I have some, and some steel tubes inside the other ship here. Sure, I've got some. Go take a look. So everything's evolving and changing in space engineers. Uh, look at our little ship. Our little ship has already undergone a refit twice, three times. This is a third refit, and we've just built the damn thing. So, you know, like, that that's one of the wonderful things, that's one of the wonderful things about survival in Space Engineers, is that everything's always evolving, you're always trying to improve your process. There, done. Excellent. So, uh, the trick here, the challenge here now, is to try and maneuver my ship in such a way that it is right over top of that connector, without damaging without damaging uh, the big ship with my thrusters. So, tricky. Sounds easy, but it's not. All right, so let's turn this upwards. Keep changing my camera here. Can you see what I'm getting at? Right, okay. Uh, I could have done this, you know, 
little bit easier. And if I'd have kept that gravity generator, we could have used it, you know. But we did what we had to do at the time to make it work. Sometimes that's just how it is. Okay, let's go back. Uh, this is a hard way to do it. Uh, I could have built a, a landing gear or something and we could have docked. But we're going to do it this way. And we just got to be really careful when we're leaving not to forward thrust because we will damage that collector. Okay, so. Uh, T, let's turn on the connector. We'll go to the control panel or the ejector. We're going to collect everything into the ejector, and then we're going to throw it out. There it goes. Perfect. So it's dumping it into here, and then the ship... So it should be landing in to directly into the refinery. Yeah, just like so. Amazing! All right. Okay, so we are going to need a big landing gear. Let's just look up what that's going to require. A big landing gear, we're going to need uh, motors, steel tubes, construction plates, steel plates. So let's go see what we can find. Okay, so we've got some motors. We don't have any large steel tubes. Huh. I think we're just going to keep harvesting the ship. We'll just break it down. It's time to break her down. Sounds good. All right. So while that's while I'm doing that, um, we're going to fast forward it again so that you don't have to endure and watch me grind all day. Uh, so we'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back. Um, <laughs> starting to look like, uh, you know, we just left we left our ship in the wrong neighborhood, right? Totally cleaned it out. <laughs> wow. Okay, so yeah, I didn't think you guys wanted to endure while I uh, ground that down. So I have a couple plans, a couple things in mind that we can do. First off, we need to clear some space so that we can build uh, that landing gear. Uh, it's going to be super easy to do it if we have that gravity generator on. We can throw that on and then all those rocks rain down to the ground. It'll be raining inside the asteroid. Yes, raining inside the asteroid. I love it. Okay, so we are going to rebuild this sucker. So we need some tubes, motor, computer, and plate. Okay, so was it small steel? I think it was. Uh, computer 
motor, steel plates. Alright, put this sucker, put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Oh, it's large steel tubes. We need more computers, more steel plates, and more large tubes. We just need to get it operating steel tubes and steel plates. Doesn't have to be 100%. So some tubes and some steel plates should do it. Just needs to be operational. Oh, so close, computers. Darn it, thought we might be able to get away with not having to put the computers on there. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, man, doesn't matter. Perfect. We have a gravity generator, so now what we can do with that, good work. It's just it's easy to go inside, go to our control panel, go to our gravity generator, and we have 1G, which should be enough, and it's already, already it will have taken all of the crap that was floating around on the inside of the asteroid. Oh. Maybe it hasn't. Uh, hmm. Uh, hmm. It should have. Do we need to do something else with it? Gravity. Yeah, we've got 1G downward. Control panel. Gravity. Uh, we're going to increase the depth and the width so that it just has a larger range. Because we should see all of that stuff fall. Aha, see? Yeah, it's gone now. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we got some movement. So cleared off enough. You know what? We'll just max out that gravity generator just a little bit. Max it right out. And that should do the trick. And then we're going to turn it off because it uses a lot of power. Neat. Neat. That made sure it work. Otherwise, I was going to have to go and clean all of those up by hand. And I just did not want to do that at all. So, Bang, bang, bang. We'll just let that run for a minute. In the meantime, let's check on our ship here. I think she's empty. I think she's empty. Let's just take a look. Uh, she's empty. Perfect. Excellent. Ah, uh, okay, guys. I think we'll put that landing gear down. We'll build the landing gear, and then we'll call it an episode. So we need six motors. Motors, tubes, and construction. Damn it, we don't have enough motors. <laughs> so let's build some of those. They build pretty quick, so I won't worry. Not to worry, they're fast. Except we have no nickel. So, you know what? We're going to call it an episode. <laughs> On that note, we're going to call it an episode. Uh, we did a lot of damage here. Like I said, it looks like we left it in the wrong neighborhood and somebody stripped it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're almost to a point where we can start building in the asteroid. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, take care, guys.